In the Middle East today, there is an international push to renew peace talks between Israel and Hamas. A date has been proposed for next week. Julia Chapman is in our London bureau keeping an eye on this story. Uh, Julia, ceasefire talks had been paused after last weekend. Are they back on? They do certainly appear to be moving towards that. There's been a statement from the U.S., Qatar and Egypt, the main mediators in the Gaza war, uh, with an urgent call to both parties to come back to the negotiating table and get on with trying to agree a ceasefire proposal and a hostage release deal. Um, this is a statement that was put forward by the leaders of those three countries saying it's time to bring immediate relief to the long-suffering people of Gaza and the long-suffering hostages and their families. Now, they say that there is a framework agreement on the table and the mediators are willing to put forward a bridging proposal to try to bring the two sides closer together but they do acknowledge that there are still gaps in the positions. Now Israel immediately responded saying it was willing to send a delegation either to Cairo or Doha on the 15th of August. There's been no word yet from Hamas. Now the U.S. Uh, certainly did put this proposal forward earlier this year. Joe Biden was the first to mention it. And it has been pushing for at least a temporary ceasefire to begin with, but officials are still hoping that it can lead to a longer-term solution for Gaza. Here's Pentagon spokesperson Sabrina Singh. Um, we continue to urge to see, you know, what does planning look like when the war ends. Um, it's not something that I'm going to get into details on from here, um, but it's something that we are in and always communicating with um, the Israelis on, whether it be from here in this building or from throughout the interagency. It's something that we're very mindful of and, and want to make sure that there is a plan in place for when this war ends. There were concerns that the volatility last week, the killing of uh, a Hamas commander uh, in Iran, as well as a Hezbollah commander in Lebanon, might uh, put a the prospect of peace talks in jeopardy. But there does certainly seem to be hope that they can get both sides back to the negotiating table now. Uh, Julia, talk to us a little bit about the situation inside the Gaza Strip, especially uh, given the escalating violence there and the evacuation orders that we're hearing about now. No indication on the ground of any kind of imminent ceasefire. Uh, yesterday, at least 40 people were killed in Gaza in a series of Israeli airstrikes, according to health sources on the ground. Uh, there were two schools targeted by the IDF, uh, which says that they were being used as command centers by Hamas. They also targeted uh, areas of two major refugee camps, Al-Nuzarat and Al-Buraj. And there was an evacuation order issued for the eastern part of the southern Gaza city of Khan Yunis, people being told to relocate because uh, the IDF says militants have been launching rockets from there and they are planning to carry out further strikes uh, in retaliation. Uh, there have been people who have been moved multiple times. Here's what one man had to say yesterday. هذه رابع مرة أنزحني المرة الأولى النسخة اللي في شهر 6 في 6 12 ثاني مرة اللي قالوا لنا اخلوا خليل ثالث مرة من جبت من جبت 10 أيام هاي وهي الرابعة فيش مكان أمن حتى لو أنت في مكان بيقول لك المواصي والبحر والهذا وجبل البلح ما فيش مكان the situation on the ground for Palestinians in Gaza is still very dangerous indeed, and many of them hoping that a ceasefire can bring some relief to their lives. Thank you, Julia. Julia Chapman reporting from London.